Hey, ka, hey, ka, hey, ka. hi everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. So in this following tutorial, I'm going to be teach you on how to change the default pose of your model. Whether you want to change your model from A pose to T pose or T pose to A pose, or maybe you may need a, a very specific posing, let's say for 3D printing purposes or anything like that. Uh, and you need like a very custom made pose for certain usages. Um, and I'll also give a couple of other examples regarding the A post T posting. Let's say for example you want to convert your model to MMD but you're going to do it the blender method. Uh, you are probably going to have to change from T post to A post depending on your model. Unless you're already A post you're fine. Um, or let's say your model was originally A post but you have to change it to T post either for VRM conversion or maybe you're doing Rokoko retargeting and your model is in the you know A post instead of T pose. So there are multiple reasons why you want to change the default posing of your model. I won't be going exactly over the, the difference uh, between like A pose and T pose in the way of usage type because it really depends on what you're doing with said model. But I would just say depending on what you're going to do just check your pro the program or um, any requirements depending on the process you're doing even for mocap purposes in case they do require a specific pose. But either way we're going to be utilizing the Cats Blender plugin, so that way we can be able to change the pose of Test Chan here. Um, if by any chance you need the plugins, like VRM plugin, Cats Blender plugin, all that, I'll leave in the description resources so you can download the plugins and know how to install it. If you don't know anything about Blender or 3D, please Google in advance. But either way though, we're going to go ahead and select our armature like this, and then we're going to go into object mode and then pose mode. Um, if you can't see your armature, do Alt-H um, and make sure that you're also in the front of your avatar like this on orthographic view. I usually just press the number one button on numpad, but if you have no numpad at all, then just go to the view button up here, go to viewpoint, and then you're going to click on front here. That way it'll be absolutely front so it's a lot more easier for you to pose. Then what you're going to do, let's say we want to convert our model from T pose to A pose. We're going to select the arms and then we're going to basically rotate it down with the R button. So click and then R and then move your mouse to depending on the pose that you want. Uh, you can even type exactly, so on the bottom left here, you can type exactly what the angle that you want in case you need it very specific. Now if you're a Void model, sadly the mirroring of the bones will not work by default. It's recommended that you rename the Void bone names. I wish that Void would correct the name so it works well with Blender, but alas, that's it's not the way that it is. So if you want it so it properly can mirror much more better, you're going to have to rename the bones. Otherwise, you're going to have to pose it manually yourself and just remember the value from one side to the other. So here we are, we got an A pose, and now once we have the pose that we want, we're going to then uh, select all the bones basically and then on the Cat's Blender plugin here, as you can see, click on the button that says apply as rest pose. If by any chance you do not see this button, there should be like some sort of armature setting above here um, to let you know like the armature that you're selecting. So please make sure to select the right armature in case you have multiple models in the project. And there you go. That's how you get T pose to A pose. But what about the opposite? Um, well, it's going to pretty much be the same process. You just select armature. Then you're going to go object mode to pose mode, as I mentioned about saying in the front. Then you're going to go ahead, select your bone, and then move it to however you want, basically. So it could be T pose like this. I'm going to go ahead and do uh, 45 degree and then for the arm here I'm also going to do negative 45 for this one and then select all your bones and then click on apply as rest pose and that is how you're able to convert A pose models to T pose. Now of course you may need to have a very specific setup too. Uh, there could be some programs that may need it where it's like A pose but then the arms are also like slightly curved forward or something like that. Um, like there is mainly on older programs though that they may need like a very different posing for it. Um, but I'm just like giving an example or again for 3D printing purposes, you may want to have it where your character actually does have a pose going on. So let's just do a quick pose real quickly here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Da -da -da. Just a simple pose, um, but this is only for like if you're doing 3D printing, but if you're not doing 3D printing then uh, then um, you don't have to do this, but yeah. Um, but basically you'll just pose your character however you like. Let's say this, I guess. 
pa, 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 pa. Like that. Let's say we have that pose and we want to make it uh, for 3D printing purposes. Then you can select the entire armature, apply as rest pose, and once you have that, uh, you can be able to delete the armature and you can 3D print the model. I mean, of course, 3D printing is a little bit more complicated, though, but I'm just saying if necessary. As long as you know how to do the 3D printing stuff, you could do that. That's just a little advice, basically. But either way, um, I hope that this tutorial helps you out uh, in case anybody needs to know how to do that. Again, it's pretty simple to do uh, for, you know, changing the pose of the model. And again, hope it helps. If you have any other questions, feel free to comment it down below. I'll leave my socials here in case you want to contact me further about any 3D questions or any help um, or anything even uh, commission purposes either. Um, but either way, I hope you guys have a lovely day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.